Hi Hugo Reed. This is our last video for this school year. I can't believe it's already here. So it's been really fun reading with you. I hope you all have a great summer and I hope you keep reading a lot. There's so many good books you can be reading. So I want to hear about them when we come back to school in August. The word of the week this week is optimistic. Look that one up. See if you can find it. Remember, you can email me. Let me know what the meaning of the word is. My work email is jbrown at ausd.net. So let me know what you find. Okay. Our book this week, some of you, we've read this probably in the library. I just like this book so much I thought it would be a good last one. It's called The Hermit Crab. And the author is Carter Goodrich. It's only giving us one name, so it must be the illustrator also. The Hermit Crab. See Hermit Crab over here? The hermit crab in this story didn't set out to be a hero, and he wasn't particularly brave. He was actually very shy. Whenever all his neighbors would get together, hermit crab was happy to just linger out of sight. If anyone happened to notice him, he would become terribly nervous and start to fidget. And then if they should happen to say something like, hi, or how's it going? he would disappear deep into his shell without saying a word. Look, here's all the other creatures that live there with him. But he's kind of over on the edge. He's just watching, isn't he? Early one morning, just when the hermit crab's neighbors were sitting down to have breakfast, a large wooden contraption fell out of the sky and headed right for them. It bounced and clattered and finally came to rest smack dab in the middle of their town square. Do you see it? Here's the big wooden contraption. Do you know what that is? Have you seen it before? Hermit Crab was off by himself poking around in the sand looking for something good to eat. So he wasn't there when it fell down. He doesn't know, does he? What in the world is it? The starfish asked. Some sort of new restaurant, the lobster replied. He was sniffing at the tasty aroma that was coming from inside it. Stay back, the bluefish warned. I've seen things like this before. It smells like there's something good to eat inside, but don't be fooled, it's just a trap. Hey, said the striped bass, where's flounder? Has anybody seen flounder? Nobody had. Do you see flounder? Uh oh, flounder's caught underneath, isn't it? Flounder's a flat fish, so it just is underneath laying there, the trap on top of it. Meanwhile, not too far away, the hermit crab had forgotten all about looking for food. He was sitting perfectly still on top of a rock, looking down at the most beautiful shell he'd ever seen. You see him over here? He's on the rock. Look what he's looking at. Is that a shell? That's part of a toy, isn't it? He thinks that'd be a good shell. Hermit crabs switch, right, when they grow? Very carefully, the hermit crab crept over to the fancy new shell saw that it was empty and decided right then and there to move in. It's even got moving parts, he thought to himself. He felt very happy. Ooh, he looks very funny, doesn't he? Back in the center of town, no one was happy. Help, cried a voice from beneath the contraption. It's the flounder, lobster yelled. He's trapped underneath the restaurant. It's not a restaurant, said the bluefish. It's a trap. Flounder needs our help. Yeah, the crab shouted. Flounder needs our help. Okay, okay, lobster said. Go ahead. But if that thing is some kind of trap, I'm not going near it. And then nobody said anything because they all felt the same way. 
Wait a minute, the striped bass said. Who is that? Who's coming? Do you see Hermit Crab in his new shell? The Hermit Crab came stumbling out of the seaweed forest right into the center of town. What is this, he thought. He didn't notice the flounder, but he did notice the good smells and that reminded him how hungry he was. He walked around the contraption, grabbing it and giving it a shake. He wanted to get into where that good food was or where that good smell was coming from. Look, he's shaking it. What do you think will happen when he shakes it? Everyone watched the mysterious stranger from their hiding places. Now they're all hiding, not hermit crab, right? The other, the other fish and the, the crabs and all the other creatures, they're the ones that are hiding now. Look, whispered the starfish, he's trying to rescue flounder. Who is that? Yeah, the crabs shouted. Who is that? That, cried the lobster. That, our brave champion, our hero, come to save us. Is he trying to save Flounder? He's just trying to shake it, right? And then all of a sudden the contraption moved. Then it moved again. And finally it began to float back up into the sky. The hermit crab was still clinging to its side. He let go at last and gently drifted back down. So maybe they think there's something in the trap because it moved and they pulled it back up, do you think? This is actually a lobster trap. Lobster was right. He kept saying it's a trap and it is. And he settled right on top of flounder. The flounder, now free, tried to thank the mysterious stranger, but the hermit crab drew himself into his new shell. So they don't even know it's him, do they? They just see this toy piece. Everyone came rushing out of their hiding places, cheering their hero. This excitement was just too much for poor hermit crab. He curled up even tighter inside his new shell. Great, he thought, now I'll never get anything to eat. Remember, he didn't get breakfast because he was busy getting that shell. The hermit crab's neighbors quickly organized a parade and carried their hero to the highest rock where they carefully set him down for all to see. Then they celebrated late into the night. The hermit crab remained hidden from view. Just see a little bit of his claw there. Remember, he's shy. He doesn't want everyone to look at him. As soon as it grew quiet, the hermit... Oops, I think we missed a page. No, I guess not. As soon as it grew quiet, the hermit crab slid out of the fancy new shell. He tiptoed past his snoring neighbors. There's his shell. Now he's over in the kelp. And through the seaweed forest until at last he found his worn out old shell right where he left it. He wriggled back inside and soon fell fast asleep. All of his neighbors are sleeping over here, aren't they? The next day, Hermit Crab made his way back to town. There, still perched on top of the highest rock, was the fancy new shell, empty as the day he'd found it. But nobody in the crowd noticed. They were happy to cheer their new hero while the lobster made speech after speech. So the Hermit Crab settled in just beyond the edge of the crowd, right where he was most comfortable. He smiled to himself and he even cheered the fancy new shell, but he cheered very softly and just a little bit. He didn't want to be noticed. And that's the end. That's silly. So that is the hermit crab. Well, I have certainly missed seeing you guys in the library and I can't wait to see you next fall. Have a great summer. Hugs and hugs to you. Bye-bye.